Hi everyone, I'm going to take a few minutes now to show you how to use group libraries in Zotero. Group libraries are really useful whenever you have group projects with classmates or collaborators. So you can see in my Zotero desktop application that underneath my library are my group libraries. And you can see that I have quite a few in here already. To create a new group library, you're going to go to New Library under File and New Group. And that will take you to the Zotero website. It will prompt you to log into your Zotero account and then take you to this page where you can create a new group. So I'm going to call this Eureka Project. And you can use the private membership setting. This just means that nobody will be able to find your group unless they've been invited to it. Create group. And these default settings will work well um, for the purpose of this class. You already designate that the group will be private. And these settings are saying that group members will have editing privileges for the library. Save your settings. And then we're going to go click on Members Settings. And this is where you can invite people to your Zotero group. So you are designated as the owner. And you can invite people to it by hitting Send More Invitations. And this allows you to enter the email addresses of anybody that you would like to invite to the group. And then I can click this button. And then the people that you invite will find an invitation in their email where they can accept that invite. And then when they go to their desktop application, they will see that group library now. So if I go to Eureka Project, you can see that the group libraries have the same structure as collections in your library. You can have collections and sub-collections within a group library. You store documents the same way as you would in my library. All the other features are the same, but now everyone in your group can see everything in here as well. Again, if you feel like something is missing, you can always try manually syncing Zotero. Sometimes when people are working in a group library at the same time, they might not be seeing the changes happening and you might have to sync. Okay, so with that, that is just the basic functionality of how you use group libraries in Zotero.